Now, I just got done doing a little home training session. I happened to rip this guy's arm off for the second time this summer. I was going for a Uchi Gamare throw hip toss on this dude. Yo, checking in from the prestigious penthouse palace known as the Knights in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I just want to let everybody know that I, I got here. I'm going to the seminar tomorrow. I'm super stoked about that to meet Robbie Lawlor and uh, Henry Hoof and uh, our Michael Chandler. The, they have an outside pool here and it's not open because it's nighttime. It's only open from dusk till dawn. Well, we're going old school and we're jumping right in this pool. All right, I'm at the pool. I just had to jump the fence. So that was freezing cold water. I immediately had to get out of the pool because I knew security was coming and they were, but she was a little distracted at a woman on the balcony of the hotel vomiting off the side and her boyfriend was like holding her hair back. Running around town rollerblading, rip rocking and rolling here in the music city. Yo, I just got done training at uh, Nashville training camp. Robbie Lawler and uh, Michael Chandler signing autographs and uh, taking photos behind me. I just wanted to sign out from here. Let everybody know that this was a badass uh, seminar and we killed it. All right, so I'm at this skate park in um, Louisville, Kentucky. So I'm just basically sitting right on top of this monster. Yeah, I'm in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, downtown uh, Louisville on this fucking monstrous ramp, right? I don't even know if I'm going to drop in on it. It's scary looking, right? I deal with these problems too. They're like, hey, Andy, you're really well-spoken. And I'm like, I'm well-spoken. Are you trying to say that because I'm white? You trying to say I'm really white-spoken? And then uh, when I was leaving the park, I, uh, I guess I rolled a stop sign going downhill, you know? Yes, yeah, so I get pulled over. And then the officer is like, wants my ID and my insurance and all that, so I give it to him. And then uh, he runs my plates and he comes back and says that my car was registered to another vehicle. So and then another officer pulls up and they're like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, uh, actually, I'm on a rollerblading tour, skate parks and broken hearts. Do you do any illegal drugs? I'm like, no, sir, I do not. So he's like, you can't, you couldn't have just came to Arkansas for rollerblading. I'm like, you know, it's... It, as misleading as that sounds, it, it's the truth, you know? I set a goal to make rollerblading great again, and I'm not stopping until I reach uh, my destination, you know what I mean? They basically tell me my car's registered to another vehicle, and then he didn't threaten, but he was just kind of like, well, we can tow your vehicle, you know? Like, for what? For running a stop sign and uh, you, making up a lie about how my vehicle's not registered to me when I know it is because you're just trying to hold me there to ask me if I'm on drugs. But uh, yeah, so that's what happened. 